And this is our topic today. Itorero. The church. The pillar and the ground of truth. Itorero. The church, the pillar, and the ground of truth. We are reading in 1 Timothy 3.15. Uh, it says, And I write to but if I'm delayed, I write so that you may know how you ought to conduct yourself in the house of God, which is the church of the living God, the pillar and ground of the truth. The church is the house of God. In that house of God, there, are, there is a pillar and he has a foundation it is the truth the world is full of lies and the systems of the world are deceptive all the systems whether it is the system of the government it is built on a lie the system of the business it is built on a lie the system of the media it is also built on a lie the system of entertainment it is built on a lie the system of the entire world the world itself is built on a lie. The foundation of the world I'm not talking about the foundation of the earth. I'm talking about the foundation of the world. The world in the language that I'm speaking, they don't differentiate them. But in English, it's different. There is the earth that was created by God. And there is the world that was created by man. Jesus said, we the Christians, we are the salt of the earth. But we are the light of the world. Amen. Amen. When you read the uh, Kirundi or Kinyaranda Bible, these two uh, names are not different. La terre et le monde. The earth and the world. God created the earth that has rivers and, and the soil and everything. And man came and built out the world and established that world on lies. So the activities we are doing, we don't do them in the earth, we do them within the world. That's why operating in the world, you are being deceived. For you to gain profit, you must lie. For you to get a, a income tax return, you must lie that you have more kids. For you to get a job, you must lie that you have more kids. 
for you to have more profit, you must lie when you are doing your taxes. Kugira ngo bashe kwiruka urusha abandi ugomba kunywa akantu kumotiva donke ukagira imbaraga zisumbiza abandi. Munyidagadura ikinyoma. In entertainment if you have to win or to run faster than others, you are going to use uh, drugs. E kugira ngo bashe gukomera muri politike yisi ugomba kubuzi kuharanga le peuple kubesha abantu kubaryosha donke kubashusha. For you to advance in the government, you must know how to deceive and to uh, sweeten people. Don't anything that has to do with the truth is not in this world. No. no. When you seek the truth in this world, you cannot find it because there is no way you can buy the truth even we ourselves because we live in the world of lies what differentiates us from the people of the world it is because we are the light and the example the only way to survive in this world is to be the light. If you are not the light, you are going to be the darkness just like the world. Jesus said, you are the light of the world. He said, Timothy, I am writing to you so that when I delay, uzamenye ibikwiriye kugenzerezwa mu nzu y'Imana how to conduct yourself in the house of God umenye uko abantu byitwara mu nzu y'Imana kuko biratandukanye nuko bitwara mu isi to know how to conduct yourself in the house of God because it's different from the way people conduct themselves in the world ngiyo nzu y'Imana ngo niyo torero and that house of God is the church imyitwarire yo mu isi itandukanye n'imyitwarire yo mu itorero the behaviors of the world are different from the behaviors of the church. When people lie outside, people should not lie in the church. The church has its own culture. You must know how to conduct yourself within the church. When we go outside, we go into a life that the nature and the flesh are used to. It is easy for our lives to be to go according to the world because we were born in the world even david say, said i was born in sin david asked god how do you expect me to be righteous when i was born in sin and he asked God to renew his spirit in the church when you come to the church this is where you come and you are put back in order. You are raised anew because you are learning things that you did not know in the world. When I delay, I'm going to tell you the culture of God, how you must conduct yourself in the church. Because the church it is the pillar and ground of truth. Ah. Donc and the horo yitorero 
So outside the church, there is no truth. Those who read the uh, book of the pilgrimage or the pilgrim, the pilgrim went. And he got to a market of useless things. When he got there, he tried to purchase truth. And he didn't find any. But because of the things in that market were evil, he went through it with his eyes closed. Because there was no truth in it. The truth is a vocabulary from heaven. It is the word of heaven. It, is, it does not exist in the world. Imagine. <laughs> Imagine a small a child who has not gone anywhere else, but you forbid them to do something and they hide to do it. Why? Because they were born in the world. No. Even in the womb, there is no truth there. Imana <laughs> Jacob was supposed to be the little brother and Esau was supposed to be the older one. But when they were in the womb, they, uh, Jacob tried to come out first. And they called him Jacob because he was the deceiver. The world is full of manipulation so that they can attain their own profits. Someone who knows the truth and go around it so that they can manipulate people. That's how the word is. And the amazing thing, some people the ones who are being lied to, they see that they are being lied to and they hide that fact because they are also liars. And because Others would go uh, innocently and they would find themselves in a trap and the ones who stayed behind would say, I had, I had seen it in advance, that's why I stayed behind. Some of us, the way we came here, we kind of lied. I, say, I didn't say we lied completely, I said we kind of lied. Why? When you tell the immigration officer the truth, they will not accept it because the world is full of lies. When I first came here, someone gave me a car and they told me, this is the car you can drive. Are we together? 
No, no, I do human doc. So we got the car. Bukeye, fata pasta bagaza. And then I, I, I took pasta bagaza. Impere kiza tuje guhinduza amazina yaba bantu tuyakire ku yange. And I asked him to come and help me to transfer the title of the car to my name. Tugeze hariya hajya ni DM. DMV. When we got to the DMV, I told the woman, I have a Christian who gave me a car. So please transfer the title. And she told me that's not allowed. She told me, Is this your child? And I said, Yes, it's my spiritual child. Say the law yemeza ko ari umwana wawe cyangwa umubyeyi wawe donc umuntu muvukana niwe wenyine waguye ikintu muri America bikemerwa ariko ibindi ndivyemewe urabitangira umusoro turumvikanye the law only acknowledges biological relationships every other relationship when they give you something you must pay a tax nje namubwira no uwo ni nk'umwana wanje mu mwuka ni umwana wanje and i told the person no this is my spiritual child umudama nande and the woman looked at me arambira ngo no she said no ngo nandike gute ngo nandike ngo numwana wawe cyangwa no uti koko nuvuga ngo numwana wawe mwuka ndibibamo and she said there is no option in our system for a spiritual child should i say that it's your child or not ati kana mafaranga yatanga arangana ni modoka wagura nzi and the money you're going to pay in taxes is worth another car bagaza arambwi just say that it's your child ndamubwira ariko se ndamubwira gute kandi namaze kumubwira ngo no mu mwuka and then i asked bagaza pastor bagaza how am i going to say this one ngo 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 umunya america arimo arabikubwira ntubyumve and he told me the american is telling you what you should say ndamubwira nibyo arimo ambwira and i say is this what she's telling me arambwira ngo yi and she he said yes kwa mama ndamwe ngo mama ni umwana wanje and i told the woman this is my child and the woman said there you go and then they, they wrote down that's my child no no sigara aita yandika donc ngo akiri carte y'imodoka yawe birarangira mbaza bagaza none se ntiyabonye ko tubeshe ariko ngo none se ntiyashaka gakubesha and the woman said the woman started to, to file everything quickly and I asked Bagaza, did she not see that I, that I lied? And Pastor Bagaza told me, yes, actually she wanted you to lie. I was shocked that day. I was shocked that day. I was shocked that day. <laughs> I had told the woman this is not my child and when I came back and told her the opposite and because she's part of the system she just filed everything that I needed no, no, and as we were driving away no, a voice told me you lied no, and I felt guilty in a short time no, I heard a voice. A voice told me what you did is of the people of this world. You are not people of this world. The word that Jesus said that my kingdom is not of the world. And the voice comforted me say this 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 is how the world works. And I want you to understand that this is how it works. Why am I saying this to you? You go through many things. You go through many things. You are going to go through many things. Satan. Satan. You are saying this has built this world and has put it upon a lie. That means anyone who, build, who puts a brick upon it is building upon a lie. The only place that people will be saved is the church. 
because that's the only place that has the pill of truth and the ground of truth. The only way to be saved from the flood is to be in the uh, in the uh, ark called the church. People despise the church. People fight against the church. People don't know the value of the church. People don't know why they are here. There are many things that God is protecting you from because you are here. You can insult it, you can uh, speak ill of it, but this is where the pillar and the foundation is of the truth. Because the church is the, living, the house of, God, of the living God. God lives in heaven. But the only place that he chose to live in this earth is the church. In Rwanda, when you get to a place called Kachiro, there is a big house called the U.S. Embassy. Are we together? It is a big house, a big building. I once visited the building. It is a huge building. It has many rooms, many houses. It has hotels. They have Marines and in the US Army living inside. Their food come from America. The water they drink. I'm telling you what I know. The water they drink comes from America. Even the spoons they use. They come from Even the salt comes from here. Are we together? Ni America it's America in Rwanda if you do a crime in Rwanda and the police runs after you and you are blessed to enter the US embassy the police stays, stays in Rwanda it is in Rwanda but it is in Rwanda but they say that America. if we enter, we'll be entering uh, American soil. Do we? Are we muri, together? Muri Niger, in Ni- Niger, have a coup d'etat president. there was a coup d'etat and they removed the president. Buranga. And France refused. And they said we do not accept this coup d'etat. And Niger said we are, cast, we are removing the French from this country. And they told the ambassador to leave. And the ambassador refused. He said I'm going to remain here. Because this embassy is French soil. I'm not leaving. And the, uh, the soldier said please go home. And he refused. President Macron, and the president, Macron, the president Macron said, you can stay there because that territory is French. France is in Niger. Oh, Niger, and Niger said, it's fine. They say, you people, don't worry. Ambassador, Ambassador, stay in that French Niger. They went and uh, stopped the water. Because the water is from the ground of Niger. They cut the electricity. Okay. They ate what they had. They used the generator, the electricity. 
and the planes that were supposed to come to bring the food stop, and they started to go hungry they called friends and said I'm about to die and I just said there is no plane from France that is going to land here and the ambassador <laughs> said I'm leaving on <laughs> my own <laughs> they did not fight against him he's in Niger <laughs> but the house he's in <laughs> is friends amen amen he said I'm going to live at my own will and today he's in France why did they not t- touch him because the world is full the world is full of lies the earth is full of lies but the only place the only embassy of God on this earth is the church the only way you can be protected it is to be in the church because it is the only pillar and ground of truth Matthew 16:18 says and I also say that you that you are Peter and on this rock I will build my church and the gates of Hades shall not prevail against it. He said I will build what? Nahugusa. Itorero I will build my church so the church belongs to God it is the house of God let me go back to the embassy of every instrument or material that built it they brought it from here with their own planes up to the, the tilling even the paint the house was somewhat built here and it was taken there physically Africa Union do you know the African Union in Ethiopia I went there as well that house that house was built by the Chinese. They brought all the material from China. Everything. everything. Next time, uh, uh, our, our, president, our presidents were given that building. That's where they do their assembly. I went there because I once gave a lecture. We went there. What did they find? When they are seated talking, they, he, they have they monitor the, the, the building in such a way that everything they talk about is in China. Everything in that building has is bugged uh, with sound and uh, video. And they screamed. And uh, all the African presidents were shocked. And everything they were deciding and talking about was being translated in Chinese and sent to Ch- Shanghai. And that's how the church it was written. the same way they can hear things that are happening in Ethiopia from Beijing is the same way God can hear everything from in the church the way the church is built 
the gates of hell cannot prevail against why rifitanye connection ijuru aho imana iri he has a connection with the heaven where god is it is the house of god as it is in heaven it is on the earth when you muja gusenga muvuye ngo data wa twese donc wo mu ijuru no kwisi when you pray said my father in heaven the father in heaven on earth is in arya we ryubahwe uko ryubaho mu ijuru no kwisi ryubahwe may your name be honored in heaven as as it is in ubwami bwa uko muri mu ijuru ariko wa kwisi as your kingdom is in heaven let it be on earth ngoma yawe yogere hose mu ijuru no kwisi your rulership may be the same on the earth as it is in heaven if you shall have it come work with it come work with it come work with it may your will be done on the earth as it is done in heaven iyo ryo sengesho yesu yabwiye abantu guse that's the prayer that jesus taught his disciples yesu ntiyabona gitandukanizo hagati yitorero n'ijuru Jesus did not see a difference between heaven and the church. What is in heaven must also happen in the church. Because the church has the wisdom of God. The church has the power of God. To none of the power of the church. It is to none of the power of God. The church is the pillar and ground of truth. This word has no truth. The truth is in the church of God. Give Jesus glory. Give Jesus glory. Woo, hallelujah. 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 Yes, ashimacha. Praise Jesus. Itorero ryagerirwanywa. The church was fought against. Kuberukuri because of truth ukuriniki bene data what is the truth brethren ukuriniki what is the truth ikini kibazo pirato yabajije muri yohana 18:37 this is a question that pilate asked in john 18:37 to 38 ngo pirato aramubaza abaza yesu ati noneho noneho urumwami yesu aramuzubiza ati wakabimenye ko ndi umwami ngo iki nicyo navukiye umva icyatumye Yesu avuka ngo kandi nicyo cyanzenye mwisi niki nuko gira ngo mpamye kuri ukuri wese yumva ijwi ryanje Pilate therefore said to him are you a king then Jesus answered you say rightly that i am a king for this cause i was born and for this cause i have come into the world that I should bear witness to the truth everyone who is of the truth hears my voice what brought me on this ukuri it is to bear witness to the truth ngo ukuri wese everyone who is of the truth hears my voice iyo bibiri ivuga ngo bumva ijwi ryanjye bivuga abande ngo intama zanje zuva ijwi nukuvuga ngo nabari mu itorero nibo bonyine bashobora kumva ijwi ryima When the Bible talks about my sheep hears my voice they are talking about the church the only people who can hear God are the people in the church There are some countries udashobora gufata network utagiye ku misozi miremire that you cannot have network unless you go to high mountains Donc umuntu agafata amasaha birakaja ku musozi kugira ngo afate network You take 2 hours to go on the top of a mountain Igiye na uzakenera network y'ijuru ntuzaje kure rebe itorero hande rwawe If you need the network of heaven don't go far just look for a church around you Umugore witwa Hana a woman called Hana ngo yavaga kure numugabo we mu misozi ngo bakaje shilo ahari urusengero They would go from the mountain side and go to Shilo where there was the temple Yari yaramenye ku bugumba bwe butazakirira mu misozi yo kwa Ephraim She had understood that her barrenness will not be healed by in the in the mountains of Ephraim. Umugabo we Elukana and her husband Elkana bavaga ngiyo ngukumwe ukumwakutashe. They will go from where they live every year. Ngo bakaje Shilo gusenga. And they go to Shilo to pray. Umunsi umwe Hana. And one day Hana ari mu rusengero. As she was in the temple atakira Imana. She cried out to God. Ugira ngo ntiye yarasenze. Don't you think that she had Yere prayed? Yere kire kire. She had prayed many many years. But she never prayed in the temple. Ngotangira gukubita iminwa. She started uh, uh, moving her her mouth. Umutambye aramubwira ati nti basindira mu nzu y'Imana yewe. And the priest said you do not get drunk in the temple. Undi batoya. The other one said no. Sinasinze nakababara ku mutima. 
I'm not drunk, I'm hurt. I have no child. I have come to pray in this temple. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! I have come in the house of God to pour out my grief, to pour out my pain. And Eli said, This is what brought you. You came from Ephraim, and you came from this reason. You, my daughter, go and eat. God has because she was connected. She was on a mountain that was connected. When she went home, she conceived. And when Anna heard, she brought the son to the same network to grow and die in the same place. And from that time, God started to speak to Samuel in the church, in the temple. And Samuel never let any word leave his mouth he will come out of the temple he was going to judge or to make judgment and bear witness to the truth from Beersheba to Dan the truth we are going to take from here is what we are going to take to the world the righteousness we take from here is what we are going to take to the world in the house of God it's not a place where we dress well even though it's good and please continue to dress well in the house of God we don't have to dress well it is not a place to socialize even though it's good in this it's not to come and see who, who comb their hair well we have come to a network of heaven it is a, a company a factory that shapes us we are in a hospital that heals us we are in a, a tears of grief that have solution the church should remain. Long live the church. Long live the church. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The pillar and the ground of truth. There are people who people who were born in the church and they think that is just for granted they grow up they just use it as routine they do evil things in the church you do not know the value of the church in the church les impossibles deviennent possible the impossible becomes possible a person came to see me and she told me that I have I'm barren for many years. Inga. How many years? Fifteen years. Fifteen years? He said yes. Urasenga. Do you pray? And she said that we were born in the house of God. I said no. Are you saved? And she asked me, How else can I be saved? I said, okay. What do you do in the church? That we don't do anything, we just sit and enjoy. Oh. Yes. Do you pay your tithe in the church? Uh, she said, I cannot lie, I just give from randomly. Do you give an offering? And she said, Yes, if I have it, if I don't have it, it is and I asked her, How long have you been in the church? And she said, I've been in the church for 35 years since I was born. And you are still young. You, I was married when I was young. Can you remember how many times you pay your tithe? she told me I don't know but it's not more than 10 times and I told her 
you cannot have a miracle. Go and pay all your debts of the time. And then come back and okay. And she said, I cannot find that money. I said, no. When you are asking for forgiveness, you do what you can. Go and take some money. And go before God in the church and pay your time. And, and then tell God, 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 I'm coming to honor your house. I'm coming back with my grief. Give me my child. Okay. She said, okay. She said, only that. Really, she, she will give me a he will give me a child. And I told her, just do what I asked you to do. Okay. Then she came back. She said, I have done what she told me, but I have not conceived. And I asked her, when did you do it? It's been two weeks. And I asked her, how do you know that you, you haven't conceived? And she said, I thought I would feel it in my womb. I said, no. Did you do what I told you to do? Say, yes. Yes. And I say on Sunday, go back to the church and thank God that you have received a child. And I laid my hand upon her and I said, God, she has done what your word requires. Let me tell you, she has now three kids. She has three kids. That person doesn't miss church. When she can't find anything to do in the church, she just sweeps when even if it's clean. She has four and they are now the little pastors in the Sunday school. Understood the power that is in the house of God. The power that is in the house of God. There is the network of heaven. Hallelujah. 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 <laughs> what is the truth? Pilate was a yes. Pilate as Jesus. Pilate as Jesus. What is the truth? And when he has said this, he went out again to the Jews and said to them, I find no fault in him at all. Please hear me out. They brought Jesus to Pilate. And they said, We want him to be crucified. And he asked, What's the problem? He calls himself the king of Jews, yet our king is Caesar. And Pilate said, Bring him up. Pilate asked Jesus. They said, are you truly the king? Yes, And Jesus said, "You have said it." The reason I was born. The reason I was born. It is for me to bear witness. To and everyone who's of the truth. Hears me. And Pilate asked him, "What is the truth?" But Pilate made a mistake. He did not wait for the answer. He went outside right away. And he called all the Jews who were coming to accuse Jesus. He said, I don't see any fault in him. <laughs> to say that he's the king, it's not a reason for, for crucifixion. Okay. Pilate looked at said, These people are strong. And I know there's a man called Barabbas who has killed many people. He's a bandit. 
araza kameni nzu he comes and uh, akicha burimo gatwara ibintu and kills people and steals kwari bo mubambe kuri pasaka we were going to crucify him on the passover kandi kuri pasaka and on passover twemerewe kure kuri ifungwa umwe we are allowed to release one prisoner reka nanje mbatege let me give them a trial araza arabwirango he came and said hagati ya yesu na barabani ndabushaka kwa bambwa cyangwa turekura between jesus and barabas who should we release mu mitwe yabo in the mind mutwe wa barab wa pilato in the mind of pilot yarazi ko bavuga toya barabani igisamba bumwice they would they would have said he thought they would have said barabas should be killed he has killed our people ariko baravuga ngo but they say rekura baraba release barabas yesu muba and crucify jesus yesu jesus yabazuriye abantu babo resurrected their people yarabagaburiye fed them yabakijama yeah, diamond uh cast out demons abari bagiye kwicwa na mabuye era barokoye and save those who were being stoned yagize neza uburyo bushoboka he did every good thing possible ariko ukuri sukwisi but the truth does not belong to the world ukuri sukwisi the truth does not belong to the world hari igi umuntu azakora ibintu byiza bigatuma wana besha wagira gutyo ngo niho bagukunda no kora uko imana yagutegetse ntushakishe kuko ukuri ukuri sukwisi Don't try to please people do what's right and God is going we to We need this man. Just please God. No one will go to these abantu no bazagukunda bakugira gute no. If you try to please people and they will love you that's not going to work. Ikintu cyambere abantu banga nuvuga ishukuri. The first thing that people hate is someone who is not true. Umunya kuri. And they hate a true for people. Ariko bagashaka ukuri. But they look for the truth. Bakana baza ngo kuri kubahe. And they ask where is the truth? Ya nabo nuri munyakura kifuza kumera nka bari ko bikamunanira. And when they see that you are truthful they want to be like you. Ya rangiza ngo rega turi mwisi. And they say where well, we are just in no the world. No Yes, we are in the world. Pilato, Pilate, ari kuye baraba. When he released baraba. Bari shima ngo rekura baraba baraba baraba. They will join that he was muri cyo jora arara arekuye yongera bice abibe. And Barabbas was going to kill them the same night. Babambo munyakuri and they crucified a truthful person. Kwisimeze. This is how the world Ibambo is. Kuri, it crucifies the truth and the truthful people. De kanje gato 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 ya gusaku. Uko Yesu yaje gusubiza. Let me go to where Jesus responded. Kuko Pilato yagiye Yesu atasubije. Because Pilate left before Jesus responded. Kandi niyo niko gahinda yagize. And that, that was his trouble. Yaje gupfa nabi cyane. He actually died about Afiraho vita mu France uyu munsi. He died in uh, today's France. Bamwishe nabi cyane kuko Kaisari baramureze abayuda bagiye bagiye ayo namakuru anyway. Bagiye bagiye i Roma kumurega eh abayuda bare bakuru abayuda ko nawe afatanyije nabandi kumurwanya umwami aramwangaza bamwangariza mu mugisho cyo France yapfuye nabi cyane Pilato. The Jews went and plotted against Pilate before Caesar and Caesar ex- uh, caused him to be exiled in France and he died a terrible death. He died in in his bed and he was stinky. Eh ariko iyi umunsi atega matwi Yesu akamaza ngo kuri nika gategereza ko Yesu amusubiza aba yarahaboneye ubugingo. But if he had waited for Jesus to respond to him about the truth he would have had Kuko uramutsume nyukuri because if you know the truth wabo hoka you can be free Yohana 8:32 John 8:32 ngo namwe muzamenya ukuri ngo kandi ukuri niko kuzaba batura and you shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free uramutsume nyukuri once you know the truth wabo atuka you can be free mu magambo magufu kuri niki what is the truth in short ni Yesu bwe it is Jesus Yesu bwe Jesus himself Yesu nukuri Jesus is the truth Ni wowe wenyine kuri He is the only truth Kandi kuko afite itorero kwisi ni ho kuri kubarizwa And because he has the church on this earth the truth is in the church Kuko umutwe witorero ninde Because the head of yes. the church is there Jesus There is the king the shiki yonzu nukuri And the pillar that support that house is the truth Yohana 14:6 John 14:6 Yes aramubwira ati ni nge nzira Ninjeki ninje kuri ndiki nubugingo ntawuja kwa data ndamujanye Jesus said to him I'm the way the truth and the life no one comes to the father except through me Amen Amen Yesu rero Jesus sukuri gusa is not just the truth yuzu yubuntu nukuri 
He is also full of grace and truth. He has both of them. And they are both full. He is full of grace. And he is also full of truth. When these two things in your own weakness you have access to God because the grace of God allows you to leave even though it's difficult outside when you come back you are received by grace and he ushers you into the truth Rimwe 14 Yohana ngo jambo yabaye umuntu abana natwe ngo tubone ubwiza bwe busa nubwo umwana w'ikinege wase ngo yuzuyiki yuzuyiki ubuntu hamwe niki nokuri Jesus is full of grace and truth John 1:14 says and the word became flesh and dwelt among us and we beheld his glory the glory as of one as, as of the only begotten of the father full of grace and truth when we come before God we have both of them we have weakness and strength anyone has their own qualities but they have their own flaws God works with you in your strength. But when it comes to your weaknesses, you, you work with Jesus. Because he has grace. His grace will help you. Paul said that God will remove uh, the burden and God told him when you want to go to God you are dressed you are filthy and God is of truth so Jesus will give you his truth he gives you his truth and then he takes you to God so that is why it that's why it says we saw Jesus full of grace and truth. The truth belongs to God and the grace is for you who are weak. That's why you did not die. Because of the grace of God, you are still alive. Because of the grace that Jesus gives you. There are some evil things that people do and you think that you die but you still come. He is full of grace. He is full of truth. He is full of grace. And he is full of truth. He is full of grace. And he is full of truth. Let me end here. Because of the church, is the pillar and ground of truth. He faced many troubles. Satan tried to destroy it. In this month, since this month, until December as we finish the year, I want to share the history of the church from the beginning until today. From the time he was born, from the way he grew, until the day is going to go and meet Jesus in heaven. I'm going to share that in the hour of value. I'll, I'll tell you the history of the church. The way the church existed in the, in the world and the persecution he faced until today. But let me give you an introduction. The church was started by 120 people who 
who were seated in the upper room. And the Holy Spirit came upon them. When Jesus said, I'll build my church, after he took the 12 disciples, there came other people who followed him. And there were all 100 there were men and women. That's when the Holy Spirit came in the time of Pentecost. And they were filled with the Holy Spirit. And Jesus told them, Go throughout the world and share the kingdom and spread the truth. Go and establish churches so that my kingdom can come on the earth. In a short time, after 25 years, the church started to be persecuted. That's when they killed Stephen outside. He was a good deacon. People came and killed him. Others started to scatter. That's Acts 8. They started to scatter around the world. Judea, Samaria. Antioch, Syria. Antioquia, which is Syria. Another one who spread the church far is Paul. Because he was one of the persecutors. On Acts 9, what Paul did, he asked for letters not to kill the Christians in Jerusalem, but to find them in different countries where they went to. Paul was supposed to, in his calling, go and save people from afar, but he was being used by Satan to go and kill the Christians. That's how Paul went to Damascus and he met Jesus in Syria. And after three years, he went to Antioquia. And he found a small church. They prayed for him and he became a missionary. And he started in Cyprus. And he went to Asia Minor, which is Turkey. In a place called Pisidia. He continued. He spread the gospel in Turkey. He went to Galat. And he came back a total of three trips. On his third journey, he went to Europe. But between the second and the third, he went to the mountains of Yugoslavia Albania and Yugoslavia. Montenegro. In Montenegro. Luke did not write it, but he went to those places as well. Paul, then Paul heard the voice telling him to spread the gospel in Greece. He went to Philippia. He went to Thessalonica. He went to Athens. And he went to Achai. Which is Corinth. It was, the, it was the entire nation of Greece. In the north of Greece was called Macedonia. In the southern Greece was Achaia. And the capital was, uh, the capital was Corinth. And the, the, was Corinth. And the, cap, the capital of Ma- Macedonia was Philip. Paul came from Corinth. He came to Ephesus. And he spent three years. And he found 12 people. He taught them. In the evening you have revival. Many people got saved. And the spirits of the idol. Diana fell. And the gospel was spread in Asia. And he prayed for seven missionaries. He sent one in Ephesus. He stayed there. Siburina, Siatira, Pergamo, Laodicea, Philadelphia, Nicolosai. All those places. He sent the missionaries. After he sent the missionaries, but remember, he was fought against. For him to speak the gospel in Athens is because the Thessalonians has fought against him. After the gospel was preached, he bade farewell Ephesus and he went to Jerusalem. And a man called Agabus 
took a belt and he said the owner of this belt will be jailed and Paul said do not scare me I'm ready to die Paul went down to Jerusalem uh, they took him about to kill him and his nephew went and advocated for him and the Roman officer talked to Paul and Paul told him I am a Roman my Jews are about to kill me because Paul had two nationalities he was a Jew and a Roman and the officer said you are a Roman he said yes and he said I bought my citizenship and money. I was born with it and he allowed him to, fly, uh, to, to flee in uh, and they did not kill him when he got to Caesarea of Maritime that's where he was jailed for two years uh, in the time of the governor Felix Felix was released to go to Rome no, 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 Paul. Paul was released to go to Rome he went to Rome to Caesar and his pro- he pr- uh, preached the gospel and Rome was full of the gospel and he decided to go to Spain but he was not able to he go Rome. he died in Rome after the gospel was spread in Rome the Bible says that he spent three years in the house and they came at the time of the king emperor this was the uh, emperor the empire of Rome persecution the persecution under the Roman empire yes. can we go there persecution under the Roman empire this time is where the church was persecuted why the emperors of Rome they had a God title and they will, they will be worshipped when Paul took the gospel and people started getting saved they did not worship the king when they did not worship the emperor the emperor started to kill them to kill the Christians so that the church can be destroyed because they have the truth the church is the truth they killed them all the persecution continued they killed many people they tortured them they were beheaded they were beheaded so they were killed in a temple so that the church can die but it was not extinguished and until the emperor Nero in 64 AD Nero, Nero went about and he asked people to burn the house after they burned the house they said that the Christians have burnt it and they look for every Christian in Rome and they pile them up like wood they burn them they burned them for three months and the bodies were still not consumed until Rome they could not distinguish the day and the night and the fat that was being come, coming out of the people was burned at that time Peter, Peter. Pe- Peter Peter came out they uh, took him out as he was on the gates going out of Rome he found Jesus standing here when Peter saw him he said you are Jesus and he said yes I am he went back and he said I'm coming so that I can be killed because I met him at the gates they told him we are not going to burn you we are going to crucify you and he asked them don't allow me to be crucified like my king I I want to be upside down with my head down because I'm not worthy to be crucified like my king at that time Paul was there too what did they do to Paul because he went and Made noise. They sawed his head off. 
since we keep Peter and Paul the church is dead because the word is dark and he has no truth the church has the truth it was persecuted but he continued to exist. many people died but the amazing thing is that the Christian faith continued to expand as they killed the Christians. It got to a point of Christians who go and fellowship in the graveyard. These were the catacombs. They would go out in the caves where they buried people. They would kneel on the on a dead body. And that's where they would be fellowshipping. To know that there were Christians left behind. They had done a sign of a fish. They wear that in the And others will not know. 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 They recognize each other by that sign. And they will fellowship in secret. And that's how they survive. Those times were followed by the dark ages. The, the dark ages. It is from the fall of Rome until the Renaissance. In this time, they were persecuted. But the church had become strong. They had become strong because the Emperor Constantine had given a decree that Christians should not be killed but there were many issues because of so much peace they started worshipping idols because the, the temples that they fellowshiped in had idols in them and there was confusion people fought against the faith in the time of the renaissance when in Florence a city called Florence there was a revolt where they said we do not want the things of God in those terrible times Christians started to be afraid to proclaim their faith because there were pro- uh, other people who wanted to use their money. literature was advancing the, like the uh, artists like Picasso, the musicians like Mozart, people had become famous until the time of the Cartesians like Rene Descartes. When they started to uh, uh, pro- proclaim the philosophy of existentialism. Rene Descartes. The Rene Descartes. People started to use Amen. their minds. Are we together? And the faith was troubled. What was the goal? It was to uh, extinguish the church. It was to finish the church. Until the Emperor Napoleon took the church. And people came and gave him advice. Napoleon, for your kingdom to rule, close all the churches, kill all the pastors, kill all the priests, and you are going to have peace in Europe. He sat and thought. But Napoleon said, those who came before me, the Charlemagne and the Ciceros, they used the sword to take over people. But this man, Jesus, used love and captured the hearts of people. He said, you men, you are vital. Please don't be afraid. The kingdom can, can go, come and go, but the church is The kingdom come and go. They leave. But 
kiriziya tiva the church remains icyo cyari gihe gikomeye cyane that was a great time itoro riva muri cyo gihe ca erezi ikomeye mu mwijima cyinjira mu byo bita eh ubutegetsi bwa Byzantine bwa Istanbul muri muri Turkey it came from that heresy period and went into the time of the Byzantine muri empire ya Byzantine the empire of Byzantine iki gihe nico gihe itoro ryaje kugira ibibazo noneho haza kwinjira mu na Islam iriji This is where the church started having issues Abisiram barinjira and Islam also got into Basan Bisoro ryasinziriye they found a sleeping church biri mu buyo bubutangaje a this a confusion in the 6th century Islam started ifata Africa majaruguru it took the north africa ira komeza it continued Islam yuzuru Arabia Islam was uh, took over Arabia ira genja muri Asia ifata Israel yose it took Israel All those seven churches that Paul established were turned into mosques. Except for one place they could not enter. It is Mal- Malt. Malt. Paul spent a few times Islam yinjiyemo inerwa kubakora ku rufatiro. But they were so strong that Islam could not take a uh, take them over munyanga ni kwa ya mateka bear with me in this icho gihe haza uwitwa pape gregoire they came uh, someone called a uh, uh, pope gregor oh, pardon pardon pope Gregory. pape irba pape irba wakabiri Urban. the second pape Urban. irba wakabiri cyo yakoze what he did yise nono itorero ryinjiza mu ntambara muzo bitaga croisade he started the crusades kugira ngo baje kurwanya abisiramu bari kure umujyi mutakatifu ari we Yerusalem so that they could go and uh, retrieve or take back Jerusalem icyo giye abantu barafuye benshi cyane many people died have in number hagati abisiramu n'abakristo there was a war between Islam and Christianity donc i Roma bohereza abasirikare benshi benshi ubwami bwa Roma burarwana haba hagati intambara hagati yabisiramu n'abakristo the Roman empire sent many soldiers and there were there was a big war between Christians and Muslims ariko icyo gihe nanone ntibaje kunesha but they did not win yego bagiye bafata tutuke duke ariko islam yaje gukomera ndetse cyero empire ya Ottoman they uh, they did not uh, uh, overcome them actually islam established the uh, ottoman empire niyo mpamvu mbona nki nazareth uyu munsi hezbollah era yihateye ariko nibande bahari 80 kwijana na abislam in nazareth ko bayesu na abislam bahari as you saw hezbollah attack nazareth but nazareth is 49% population of islam ico giye abantu batangira kwinjira mu buyobe bwenshi byo bisengo ni inquisition inquisition no kuvuga ngo gyari perereza kugenzura niba abantu bakiri mukuri and people start they came a time of the spanish inquisition ico bitaga ngo ni inquisition cyangwa si perereza rya espagne the spanish inquisition yakozwe na gregoire wicenda it was done by pope gregory iri gyari riteye ubwoba This one was scary. Bagendaga bare babantu badakurikiza imikorere y'Iroma nibusenga uvugana n'Imana cyangwa usukora ikindi ariko bakabona bitajyanye ni Roma bakakwica. They used to examine people's faith and when they determined that you did not follow the Roman uh, doctrine they would kill you. Ikindi gihe nanone bongeye gukora iperereza cyo kureba ko abantu bavuye mu myizerere y'Iroma igihe cyabari for cyari for cyaba protesta batangi. And the, there was a time of the uh, protestant uh they they examine the people if they did not leave the faith don't get inquisition ever kuba protestant yes they started in, uh doing the inquisition for the protestants mu espagne hapfu yabantu ibihumbi 200 kugera ku bihumbi 500 bazira gusa ngo bari mu buyobe kandi mu byukuri basengaga imana In Spain there was there were 20,000 to 500,000 people who died. Bihumbi 20,000 to 500. Abafuye muri iki gihe ngo hari abantu benshi binzira karengana. Those who died in that place that time. Yo wanga gumuntu waramubekereka ngo ngo uyu nguyu ntagi yagaze mu byizerwa bakamutwara bakica. When you Doki hate habaye abantu kuregana abantu guhemukirana umugore agahemukira umugabo umugabo agahemukira umugore umwana karega nyina mwamubwira ati tujye gusenga mwana agahita barega ngo ngo bari muri herezi babizita gaherezi ngo bavuye mu mu byukuri nuko abantu bafuye benshi cyane cyo gihe itoke ndababwira periode itorero yaciyemo ariko mumenye ko rifite ishingiro ry'ukuri itorero gima people who accuse their neighbor their family members because they wanted them dead and they would die for no reason i'm telling you the issues and the persecutions that the church went through but it is still the pillar and foundation of the truth yaje kuwagaramu mwaka wa 1834 ku mwami carlos 
1834 at the time of King Koros. And he came to a time where they did a witch hunt. Which this was scary. Hunts. The witch hunts. This was a serious time. Half we have an they died many America, even in America they would burn people because God supposedly said that they were witches and when you see in Africa people are going always accusing witches this actually started back in Europe in 1431. Someone someone will get up and just say that God is saying that someone is a witch and they will burn them or kill them. People. If you look at the history of the church, it has gone through so many things, and it's an indication of what we are going through today. Other people die. When the Protestants went from the Catholic Church, they were, they were uh, hunted when they will know that you are protesting they will burn you when they will know that your family is a protesting family people will run after others like they run after dogs and stone each other as you see the church it, it, as you see the church today it went through so many troubles but it is not the home of the church is not here it's in heaven people fled to England they came at time of the conversion of England at that, at that time Pope Gregory sent Augustine to preach the Anglo-Saxons, they became saved until they also started to kill servants of God. There was death in this uh, salvation of the Anglo-Saxons. There was a bishop of Cam- Canterbury who was burned in the church. Canterbury, Canterbury. Canterbury. He was killed. Uh, anyway. Anyway. And they came a time of slavery and abolitionism. Slavery. Slavery. This was also the time when the Protestants mixed with the Arabs went into Africa. Before the Africans they started slavery claiming that Africans were the children of Ham and they were cursed. And they used those, those scriptures to enslave them. Other people started fighting. Anyone who fight against slavery will be killed. Anyone fighting against the slavery will be killed. These were serious things. For you to preach against slavery, they will use scriptures like where Paul said, As slaves obey your masters to justify slavery. This was a time where people, many people died. 
benshi bagerageza kuvuga ngo habe aboline donc abolitionisme donc gukura abantu mu bucakara many people were advocating uh, abolitionism and it wasn't easy there is a man called william wilberforce yakoraga mu nteko yari mu congressman kandi akaba mu kristo he was a member of parliament and a devout yarahagurutse arwanya ubucakara he led a fight against slavery yaba inshuti ya premier ministre nabantu bakomeye hafi imyaka 53 kugira ngo agenda bumvisha ikintu bagomba kureka ubucakara ubwo ngereze nibwo bwabaye ubwa mbere gusinya ko bakuyeho ubucakara bivuye kuri uyu mugabo William Wilberforce and he became a friend of the prime minister and other high ranking officials to convince them to abolish slavery and uh, England was the first country that abolished slavery ndangiza beneda as a finish itororo ryaciye mu ntambara zikomeye the church went through many wars na nuyu munsi ntubona muri America turimo duca mu bibazo amatoro ari vide niki ubwiye ngo niki ni bibazo ariko mbizeze itororo ryacaririzimo itororo rya Kristo rirakomeye ryubatse ryubatse kuruta even today you see empty churches in America don't wonder why it is still a form of persecution but i assure you that the church is still the pillar and ground of truth soza as i conclude aba efeso kabiri 20 efesians 2:20 ngo kuko mwubatswe kurufatiro rw'intumwa n'abahanuzi ngo ariko kristo yesu niwe buye rikomeza ifuruka amen having been built on the foundation of the apostles and the prophets jesus christ himself being the chief cornerstone amen inyigisho z'intumwa n'abahanuzi the teachings of the prophets allowed the church to survive until today and jesus is the chief cornerstone you are in the right place being in the church and the peace of jesus stand up and let's pray amen i assure you you are in the right place you are in the right place urufatiro gukuri ni nkingi yukuri to choose the church we have chosen the pillar and ground of truth shimwe yesu praise you jesus kandi jwi ryawe rindutira amajwi yose oho naba nufa kandi jwi kandi jwi ryawe indutira mas qui io se na mano fa i più cora ma i più cora io se mi ti sa Kuvivugana kukuvivuga nurukundo nisanze nisanze mu rukundo kwa wewe wambere ye wambere nawe dikume nawe yesu darutse mana turagushima god we thank you twisanze mu rukundo rwa we found ourselves in your love twisanga mu buntu bwa we found ourselves in your grace utugirira neza and you blessed us utuzana mu nzu yawe and you brought us in your house ahari nkingi yukuri where there is the pillar of truth nishingira ryo kuri turagushima ko dushigikijwe n'ukuri kwawe nubwo turi muri isi y'ibinyoma muri isi ishukana ariko 
apart. We are standing in your truth. We have established our faith in you. When our hearts are in you, when the glory is yours, go with your children. Let us see each other in peace. And we we'll praise you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Go with the Lord Jesus. And greet each other. May God bless you.